community tab, which is where these polls are located. Okay, I'm refreshing here. First of all, let me give you the update and the results of the poll regarding what you guys would like to see me react to as a review this week. All right? So here were the options. The Batman, which is the Robert Pattinson movie. <clears throat> Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie. Joker, the Joaquin Phoenix movie. Peacemaker, the John Cena television series. Or Velma, the cartoon series. All right? 34 votes were cast out of the 71 members that we have. That's less than half. I would hope <clears throat> that people who are channel members over on DSP Reacts would like to exercise their power as members. All right? Now, I know that maybe some of them only come around on Saturday when we do the live stream, and that's all good, but there's going to be polls like this that are going to pop up from time to time, and I'm always going to put them on the community tab, and I'm going to try to notify everyone here on the podcast as well. Um, 34 votes. It is what it is. I got to work with what I get, right? I have 71 members, 31 votes, or 34 votes. The votes are as follows. The Batman, 12%. Peacemaker, 12%. Velma, 12%. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 12... No, I'm kidding. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 32%. And Joker, the Joaquin Phoenix movie, also 32%. So essentially what we have is a tie between Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Joker. And you may say, well, Phil, how are you going to break this tie? Well, it's very simple. I already watched Joker. <laughs> That's how I'm breaking the tie. I watched it. So I'm going to be reviewing the Joaquin Phoenix movie Joker <clears throat> tonight, this very night, over on DSP Reacts. Okay? So... It'll be, you know, very similar to my reviews of the Last of Us television series. Just me kind of talking for about however long. Whether it's 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I think about the movie. Alright? I mean, yes, there'll definitely be plot spoilers. And I'll say that in the review as soon as I start. Um, but this is a movie that a ton of people saw back in 2019. And a lot of people had a lot to say about it. And I never saw it until the last 24 hours. Okay? So, I'm going to review it tonight. I hope you guys will check out my review. Um, and uh, there you go. Now, here's my hope. On DSP Reacts, I would like to have content six days a week, similar to how I have content six days a week here on DSP Gaming. Okay? Um, the way I see doing that is DSP versus the Internet is a six-part show. So, on the day I stream it, I do two parts, and then each day after is four parts. And then I should have some kind of a review that I do like on day five, you see? So, or day six actually that should be. So you'll always have content and it'll be like one day's break from content on DSP Reacts and then you'll have another day with another video again or another stream, you see? <clears throat> there will be some exceptions. On any week where I do a long form react, that's gonna be split up just like everything else and likely those are gonna end up uh, filling a lot of time, all right? So the way I see it, DSP Reacts is a vibrant channel. You got content on there every day. Now, not every single video is, is, a, is a giant knock-it-out-of-the-ballpark winner. That's the nature of React content. You know, I'm reacting to things that the members are, are submitting. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. Case in point, some of the videos this week from DSP vs. The Internet did really well. Literally anything I, where I reacted to, like, another content creator. So reacting to LTG, reacting to Angry Joe, people seem to like that. Some of the other ones that were just random things, not so much, okay? But I'm happy. I'm happy that people are enjoying the content over there. And I'm now happy to be bringing you reviews because I'm totally okay with maybe once a week watching something. <clears throat> if not twice a week, because if there's not an ongoing weekly show to watch and review, maybe I'll watch like two pieces of content a week. You know, maybe one movie, one show, and then put out like two reviews a week over there. I'd be okay with having reviews in my regular rotation of content on DSP Reacts if you guys want it and will watch it and support it. So let me know. If you're liking these reviews, okay? I'll be honest, it's kind of funny because I've been reviewing The Last of Us television show every week now for the last month. Every review has done well, except this last one. If you actually take a look at the results of the, the one, episode 8, and you compare it to the results of all the other Last of Us reviews I've done, it's got, like, way less attention. And I really feel the reason why is because of the way I titled it. I titled it, It's the Best Episode Yet, so I don't even have 900 views on the video. But every other review I've done for Last of Us 
has gotten over a thousand views. So if I'm positive about it, people don't like it. They just want negativity, right? They just want me to poop on stuff. Well, I'm not going to constantly be pooping. I mean, there will be some pooping. Don't get me wrong. If I'm watching something that I'm not enjoying, I'm going to be critical of it. Uh, there's been some episodes of The Last of Us that I didn't like, or I didn't like as much. I thought they were weak. This last episode, episode 8, was the best in the series, in my opinion. So I'm going to be honest and say I like it. Now, the finale's coming up this week. This should be interesting, because not only am I going to review episode 9, I'm also going to summarize my thoughts on the entire series. So perhaps the series closing review will do better. <clears throat> but 